Hi, my name is Sylvia Monayo. I'm an ambitious entrepreneur, I'm a go-getter, I'm a content creator, and I'm a millennial on the move. I am a content creator. I do mainly fashion and lifestyle kind of content. I am also an entrepreneur. I have a business, Style on Deck, Kenya. It's located in town, CBD, Market Stalls, first floor shop A7. Um, I have been doing it for about three years now. I mainly sell ladies clothes, as you can see. I'm dressed by Style on Deck Kenya today. I have to plug my clothing store. And it has had its ups and downs, but I'm so thankful and grateful for where I am today as an entrepreneur. I feel like my journey started a couple years ago. I did a closet sale on my personal Instagram page at Sylvia Monayo, and my first closet sale was a success. I did yet another one, it was a success, and I thought to myself, why don't I be the one to speak uh, unique items that people like and sell them to my people, sell them to my followers. And that's where Style on Deck came to be born um, three years ago. Uh, also, I think I have a passion for fashion. I think I dress well and look good because people tell me, like, Sylvia, where did you get that dress? Sylvia, where did you get those pair, that pair of jeans? And I thought to myself, let me be the one to plug people on my own store. So that's where Style on Deck came about. <music> I get so much joy and I get so excited whenever a client comes to my business page and tells me, hey, I purchased this item from you, your customer service was great, I enjoy the quality, my friends are even asking me, so they even go to an extent of giving me referrals and that's my pride and joy until this day. Also, when an influencer, just when you dress up an influencer or they purchase something from you and they tag you and you're like, you know what, I made her look this good. These things, are, this, these clothes are from my store. I get so happy and at the end of the day, that is what gives me the satisfaction and it also encourages me to keep going and to keep uh, producing and giving my people quality, giving my clientele quality stuff at an affordable price. Style on deck was just an inspiration that came to me. I combined style. I knew I wanted the name style in my business name. So I combined style, then a fancy name. You know, I just wanted to look a little bit fancy for my people to, you know, for it to attract someone. And the client comes and they're like, hey, Gina. So that, that's why I came up with the name style on deck. So I was born in Thika, by the way, um, and then the memories I remember mostly are growing up in Loresho. Um, what was the name of the, of the estate? I don't even recall, but it was house number 11. I went to Visa Oshul Primary School in Westlands, and then I did, that's where I did my KCP, and then I later joined the State House Girls High School, still in Nairobi. That's where I did my KCSC, and then I just went next door. UN. So growing up, I think earlier on in my earlier, maybe primary school, I was a bookworm. I used to be a smart girl. I used to be, you know, an obedient girl. Probably, I probably thought I'd be a lawyer or something. You know, everyone wanted to be a doctor, a lawyer, a nurse. So yeah, I was, I was a very disciplined child. I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd love to think so. I'd love to think so. My childhood was awesome. I'm, I'm the second born. I have two brothers, so it was it was it was a it was a bit challenging growing up. At some point, being the only girl, but later on, my sister came, and yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's been a good childhood, I'd say. So growing up, <laughs> the memories that are stuck on my mind are when we used to get beaten. We used to be whooped, both of us, my brother and I, who. Is a, is a, who, is a, who is a bit older than me but you know we were close in age so whenever he used to do something wrong my mom would also come for me and be like why didn't you check on your brother na ribu computer ulikuwa wapi pia wewe brother yako akia ribu computer and so that used to amaze me it still amazes me like why would you come for me and it's my brother who has done such and such a thing you know so we used to be whooped together those are the kind of memories that you know you laugh about it later in your adulthood life 
I told my folks a bit later, once I opened up my biashara, I set everything up, I looked for location, the shop was ready, yeah? It was already operating, but not for long. And then that's when I told my folks, you know what, I have a business. And they're like, where? In town, what? So they came, they saw my business. At first, I think they were not so up for it because I remember them asking me, are you going back to employment? Because I was still employed. I, I mean, I was employed. And then once my, my baby came into the picture and I was in my maternity leave time, that, that time when you're just, you know, nursing your baby and everything, is when I decided, you know what, this idea that has been at the back of my mind, I need to execute it now, 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 and I'm not going back to employment. So they asked me, are you going back to work? And I, I told them I'll think about it. But at the back of my mind, I knew that I wasn't going to go back to employment. This is what I wanted to do. This is my passion. I need to do this now. So yeah, eventually they grew, they grew, they, they, it grew on them. Paka, my mom came with her friends to shop because, you know, I sell ladies' clothes. So she even came and supported me. My dad was supportive eventually. Yeah, I feel like we're in a good place right now and I have all their support and all their blessings. One of my highlights is when you get personalities to wear clothes from your store. Lydia Kim once shopped, once or twice? I think it was once. Once shopped uh, from my store and she was looking lovely. So once I got that notification on my business page that Lydia Kim tagged you on an item, I was just so thrilled. The followers started coming through, the parallels start, start coming through. At that moment, you just feel like, you know what? I do not regret doing this even once. You, the thrill, that, the satisfaction that even comes with it, you know, you don't even, you're just proud of yourself. Ancela as well, Ancela, she's an actress. Um, she also, I feel like this is so good because all these personalities just shopped. They just identified my page and they said, okay, you know what, Sylvia, um, bring, bring this and this item at this and this location. And I just delivered to them. They liked what they saw. It looked good on them. And that is, a, a highlight that you know you never forget also that leap of faith that i took to just open up a biashara to just say that you know what i'm not going back to employment i have a newborn baby in the house and i'm going to open this biashara that is going to you know provide for me and my family that leap of faith it was a bold step for me and i'd term it as a very big highlight in my journey so about motherhood <laughs> motherhood is also another Another, another journey that I've experienced, that I've enjoyed, that I've loved being. I've loved being a mother. It's been three years now. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's been three years. It has, it has had its ups and downs. Uh, because right now I'm a single mother, by the way. And I'm an, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur at the same time. It's challenging at times, but God's grace is sufficient. God has seen me through. He's been faithful. And all I can say is, Thank God. I, I'm enjoying it so far, so good. It has had, I've had bad days. You guys, I've had bad days, but yeah, there's been good days as well. It was not easy starting a business because I had never been in that space before. It's something I had never done before. I didn't have any experience. I just dived into the deep sea and I could, but because I had a passion for it, I just decided this is something that I'm gonna learn from on the job. I'm gonna learn on the job. So I made a couple of mistakes along the way. I still make them sometimes, but things that keep me going are my son and my clients, my very, very good clients. Um, countrywide, I even have clients all the way from Australia who tell me, uh, please find a way to deliver this and this item to where I am. I have clients in Kisumu, I have clients in Naivasha, I have clients in Mombasa. All those clients just make my day. That one purchase can make a difference in your day. And they keep me going. Also, the feedback I get from them, you know, you learn from your mistakes. When you make a mistake, you make them a learning, a learning tool. 
and um, I'd say also a challenge I faced is once I opened up, I set up shop. Um, it was pre-COVID times and business was good. And then once the pandemic hit us, <sighs> I even felt quitting at some point. I wouldn't lie. And then you get imposter syndrome. You get so many doubts within you. But eventually you take those as a lesson and you learn from them and you get encouraged, you get motivated. For me, I feel like I'm a go-getter and I'm very ambitious. I don't give up easily. So I just, if I start something, I'm gonna see it to the end. That's just me, it's just in my DNA. And that's why I'm still here a couple of years later and I'm doing good, I'd say my business is doing good, I'm thriving. Yeah, God is faithful, God is good. This sounds basic, but YOLO, YOLO, you only live once. I mean, live in the moment. You never know what's gonna happen tomorrow. If you're gonna set up shop, set up shop now. Eh, to anyone out there who's listening to me right now, go for it. Don't procrastinate, go for it now. Now, come and see Sasa and Sasa Heavy. So, YOLO, YOLO, you never know, YOLO. You obviously have to keep up with the latest trends if you're in the industry that I'm in. So, I'm always up on all social media, I'm, I'm always up on TikTok, always on Instagram checking out who is dressing in what, who is wearing what, and not just like the local celebrities or anything. Everyone, when they attack kwa uko kwa shed room, wangalie red carpet, event na hi event, who or what, so that you can keep up with all the latest trends. Um, also on Pinterest, uh, I, I usually save all the pictures of things that I feel like I'd probably uh, stock up in my shop and then that helps me to know the latest trends and what I'd probably, you know, sell to my clients. I feel like my future is bright. Um, as I mentioned, I'm a go-getter, I'm, I'm very ambitious and if I start something, I'll see it to the end. And there's this book I've been reading um, by Russell Branson, Dot Com Secrets. If you can get yourself that book, utakuambali sana. I'm enjoying it. Um, I, would, I, I don't want to preempt it. If you can read that book, kindly go and do so. Uh, and especially if you're an entrepreneur, if you're into business, if you're into marketing. I feel like Style on Deck needs more stores in Kenya. I feel like all of you need to experience Style on Deck. So that's my goal, that's my goal. I want to open a couple of stores in Nairobi and even outside Nairobi, so help me God. Yeah, I feel like the future is bright. I'm gonna keep doing me, I'm gonna keep looking good, I'm gonna keep dressing well, and y'all are gonna keep shopping with me. If you're out there and you're thinking, no, I cannot do this, no, start now. As I mentioned, you only live once. Start now. Kama si sasa ni sasa hivi. We need to stop this imposter syndrome culture. Trust me, no one else out there believes in you the way you believe in yourself. So if you don't believe in yourself, trust me honey, no one else is going to, to believe in you. So I'd say start now. Don't worry about, oh my god, where am I going to get uh, this much money? Probably you think I started with a million bob. Now you're thinking, oh my god, where do I get a million bob? No, no, no. no. Start with what you have right now. And then you're going to, if you're ambitious enough if, and if you're hardworking enough, you're going to get there step by step. Baby steps, but you'll eventually get there. So start now. I feel like as young people, where we go wrong is living in the moment. We don't want to see something. We don't want to live to see something go through. We want, we want shortcuts. We want it to go fast and go right now. I want to be to drive our city steps tomorrow. No, there's a process for that. We have to go through a process. You have to have some failures along the way. You have to learn from them. You have to be molded by all these challenges that will come um, with the journey. So do not live in the moment. Do not want things too easily, okay? Do not um, want shortcuts. Shortcuts might work, sometimes they work. But do not uh, give up too easily. We give up too easily. I feel like we, we, are, we, we, we as young people give up too easily. We want to get a Mercedes Benz tomorrow. We want our business to make profits of one million tomorrow. You know, there's a process we have to go through. So I feel like we need some patience, we need um, to learn from our failures, we need to learn from our mistakes. 
So it's a baby step. Poly poly too. You shall get there. Patience, you live to see your dream come true someday. I feel like we've come a long way. Not such a long way, but <laughs> we've improved. We have really improved in fashion as Kenyans. Um, people are dressing up so good. People look so nice these days. Uh, but I feel like at, we still need some sort of improvement. We need some improvement, but it's kidogo. So if it's kidogo, I feel like we're in a good place right now. People are doing good. People are dressing up. People are making unique designs. People people don't want to look bad. So I feel like we're in, we are, we're in a good place and we're headed somewhere. Kuna future poor. We're headed somewhere. Style on deck Kenya. What I usually do to market it, I buy ads, I buy Instagram ads. I'm looking into also using a couple of influencers to, you know, talk about my brand. I'm a content creator as well, so I also use my personal page to promote my page because I feel like my first customers are people who follow me on my personal page and some of them are still are. Some don't even know about me because Probably I've used other means like the Instagram ads and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I use my personal page to promote my business page and so far so good. Uh, my favorite Instagram, my, my favorite apps right now I'd say are TikTok and Instagram. TikTok is a, is a whole other place, you guys. But I'm trying to really, you know, get into that. Squeezy camera content creator, lazima ukwe all-rounded. Lazima unge Twitter, unge... Instagram and TikTok. My, so my, I made my, two, my top two, I'd say, ni Instagram, I love TikTok. I'd say a low moment for me, uh, business-wise, uh, was during the pandemic time. I felt like quitting business. I felt like I had, make the, I had made the wrong decision. You know, you stop receiving a monthly salary and you open up a biashara and then the pandemic psh, hits you. And now business is bad. That was really low for me. Uh, as for my personal life, I feel like when it dawned to me that, hey, you're a single mom now. How do I keep my mental health in check? I read a book from time to time. I stretch from time to time. I, I do Zumba in my house from time to time. I open up to my friends. I talk about my problems, we share our problems, we have a drink or two, you know, bonding time, nini nini. Yeah, I feel like it's important to have people around you who you can trust and you, who you can talk to about things that you go through in life because a problem half shared is a problem half. I'd like to shout out my son, Craig Enzo. What's up? Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, Craig. <laughs> if he has his name, it's going to be like, <laughs> also shout out to my loyal clients who have also referred other people oh my god I love my clients because once you get a good client and you've served them well and you, they've got a nice stuff they always plug you they always refer you to someone else so shout out to my clients thank you for the feedback good or bad I am learning from all those feedbacks so always kindly come on put your feedback I am always willing to learn I love learning I love you know, correcting myself and I love growing. So shout out to my clients who've been there for me since day one, who always show up, who always plug me, who always refer me to someone else. Thank you so much. God bless you. Also, I'd like to shout out my makeup artist of the day, Savina at beauty on Instagram.